Welcome to the video on the work done on charged particles in uniform electric fields. The work done on a charged particle inside the electric field is defined as the amount of energy that the electric field is giving to a charged particle as it's entering the electric field. The work done equation is given by the force acting on a charged particle multiplied by the displacement that results from the force. We can derive two new equations from this generic work done equation. First of all, the force that's acting on the charge is of course the force due to the electric field. And this is given by the charge of the particle, Q, multiplied by the strength of the electric field. So here I've replaced the force with Q times by E. S, the displacement of the charged particle, can be denoted by the symbol D. So if a charged particle goes from point A to point B inside the electric field, this is the vertical displacement that's caused by the electric force. And in my diagram, this is smaller case d. We can simply leave the displacement as smaller case d, or we can rewrite it in terms of the potential difference of voltage between the starting point and the end point, so point A and B again, divided by E, which is the electric field strength. In my first equation, by substituting the displacement with V on E, I am able to cancel out E in the numerator and denominator, leaving behind an expression that is the work done equals to the charge of the particle multiplied by the voltage between A and B, the starting point and the end point of the charged particle's displacement. In the second equation, where I've left the displacement D as it is, I can get another simple expression where I've got the charge of the particle multiply by the electric field strength E and further multiply by the displacement of the charged particle due to the forces in the electric field. Again, the work done is defined as the amount of energy that's given to the electron by the electric field. Specifically, when an electron is acted upon by forces in the electric field, its electrical potential energy is converted or transformed into its kinetic energy. In other words, the speed of the electron will increase as its kinetic energy increases. A positive charge, when it's being placed inside an electric field, will start to accelerate towards the negatively charged metal plate. So as it's approaching the negatively charged metal plate, it will be gaining speed and kinetic energy. And of course, at the same time, its electrical potential energy will also decrease. Conversely, a negative charge will accelerate towards the positively charged plate. So as the negative charge is approaching the positive plate, it's gaining speed and kinetic energy while losing electrical potential energy. Now let's look at a few practice questions. A particle having mass m and a charge q is accelerated from rest, so that means the initial speed is zero, through a potential difference of v. Assume that the only force acting on the particle is due to the electric field associated with this potential difference. Show that the final velocity of the particle is given by V equals the square root of 2QV over M. We can show this mathematical expression by applying the law of conservation of energy. When a charged particle is placed inside an electric field, the electric field will do work on the charged particle, and the amount of work done can be given by the charge of the particle multiplied by the potential difference between the starting and the end point of its displacement. This amount of energy is transformed into the kinetic energy of the charged particle. And the kinetic energy of the charged particle is also given by half mv minus u squared, where v is the final velocity of the particle and u is its initial velocity. In this particular case, the initial velocity is zero because the charged particle is starting from rest. So we can simplify this equation into Q capital V equals to half mv squared. By rearranging this equation, I can get V equals to 2QV divided by m and everything square root. An electron enters a uniform electric field in the middle between two charged plates at 3000 meters per second. The pair of metal plates is connected to a 15 volt battery and separated by a distance of 25 centimeters. Assume gravity is negligible for this question 
and by considering the work done, calculate the speed of the electron when it reaches the metal plate. So as we spoke about before, the work done can be given by QED. So this is an alternative equation for calculating the work done. We can work out the electric field strength of this particular electric field by taking the voltage or the potential difference between the two plates and divided by the distance between them. And this will give 60 volts per meter as the electric field strength. Now remember the work done on a charged particle is being transformed into its kinetic energy. So that's right now, half mv minus u squared. Again, v is the final velocity, u is the initial velocity. So q is the charge of the electron, so 1.602 times 10 to minus 19. e is strength of the electric field, which is 60 volts per meter. And d is the distance or the displacement of the charged particle. So this will be 12.5 centimeters as the electron enters in the middle between the two metal plates. So I'll use 0.125 meters as my displacement here. Equals to half, m is mass of the electron, so 9.109 times 10 to minus 31 kilograms. And v is the final velocity I'm looking for, and u is the initial velocity, which is 3,000 meters per second. So this is all squared. And this gives me a very large velocity of 1.6 times 10 to the power of 6 meters per second.